Since we first brought you the story a few weeks ago about mail being stolen from a pair of U.S. Postal Service green relay mailboxes in Astoria, we've heard from a lot of viewers in Queens who are dealing with the same problem. CBS 2's Elle McLogan covers Queens. She takes us to Bayside now, where more stolen mail points to the scope of this widespread issue. On a Friday afternoon in Bayside, Tim Dillon was checking the Postal Service website for tracking updates on an incoming delivery. Uh, I was expecting my new enhanced New York State driver's license. The mail never came. I approached the letter carrier the following day, and sheepishly he said the mail was stolen out of the green mailbox. It has been an issue here in Bayside. Douglas and in Astoria, where we first brought you the story of repeated daytime mail theft caught on video on the same corner. Perpetrators appeared to use a key to access the green relay boxes used by mail carriers for storage. Neighbors in Astoria and Bayside say USPS never gave word their mail was gone. Forget being offered, you know, fraud protection. We're not even being told about this. In light of widespread reports of stolen mail in the area, officials and postal law enforcement gathered in Maspeth to share mail theft prevention tips with the mail. public. We recommend dropping it off directly to the post office. Residents we spoke with wonder why it should fall on them to safeguard their own mail. I asked what USPS's policy is for notifying the neighborhood when mail gets taken. The postal inspector said it's the other way around. We're relying on the public to tell us when they don't receive something. The Postal Service says it isn't Installing secure blue boxes nationwide and replacing antiquated arrow keys used to open green boxes. Employees who don't want to appear on camera say mail carriers are being offered bribes for their keys in the amount of tens of thousands of dollars. Our mail carriers, they're as honest as they as long. Those who don't accept a bribe risk losing their keys by force. More than 400 mail carriers were robbed in 2022, according to a USPS report. Meanwhile, there were more than 300 hundred robberies just in the first half of this year. Do you have a timeline yet on when the arrow keys might be phased out? I don't. Victims hope policies change soon. Let's get down to the bottom of this. In Queens, Elle McLogan, CBS 2 News. Elle is our community reporter and uh, she's continuing to pursue viewer tips, story advice, story comments about this problem, this mail issue. If you have one you'd like to share, a story idea in Queens, send it to her email, queenstip at cbs.com.